Part of the value of getting a CMA certification is the new skills you develop as a professional. This video will show you how your new CMA skill set makes you super valuable in the job market. The CMA isn't just about knowledge, which you already know if you've started studying for the test. It's about how you apply knowledge in real world scenarios. As you develop useful skills, it opens a ton of doors. So let's talk through CMA skills and the types of jobs they prepare you for. Let's go. Hey there, I'm Nathan from CMAexamacademy.com. We help candidates like you pass the CMA exam the first time. The IMA has outlined six big pillars of knowledge you acquire as a CMA. These directly connect to employable skills and include the following. Number one, strategy, planning, and performance. Becoming a CMA means you are able to guide decisions, manage risk, and monitor performance. This is high-level thinking, often used by people at the executive levels of an organization. Number two, reporting and control. This is a useful skill set for competitive analysis. In other words, how does your company's performance measure against competitors and even regulatory standards? That's one question to ask. Being able to analyze that and act on your findings make you a very valuable leader and CMA. Number three, technology and analytics. Most companies nowadays have undergone a digital revolution. If you want to be a leader in a digital first world, Knowing how technology supports business growth is key. Number four, business acumen and operations. This is where CMAs differ from other accounting professionals. You are trained through the CMA program to become a strategist, seeing more and guiding strategic decisions in an operation. Okay, so we covered the first four of six pillars. As a CMA, you are uniquely equipped in strategy, reporting, technology, and business acumen and operations. So I'm curious, where does your brain go with this conversation? Can you picture yourself in a specific job as we go through these pillars? That's an important vision to have on your journey toward becoming a CMA or growing your CMA career if you already are certified. All right, the last two, number five is leadership. Every organization in the world needs great leaders and CMAs learn how to think like one. Number six is professional ethics and values. Many businesses are reevaluating corporate policies in light of ethics. CMAs are held to a high standard and learn how to work with integrity. And similar to the CMA, a new certification called the CSCA is supporting people with similar goals for leadership in accounting and finance. But first, let's recap the six pillars we've reviewed in this video. CMAs are able to lead out in strategy, planning, and performance. Number two, reporting and control. Number three, technology and analytics. Number four, business acumen and operations. Number five, leadership. And number six, professional ethics and values. Some of these will come naturally to you as a professional. Others you will work toward, but all of them are represented on the CMA exam, which is great news. If you want to succeed on the exam, I have a free resource for you for watching this video. Download my exam cheat sheet, which you can check down in the caption below, and there's a link to download it because I'm here to help you on this journey toward excelling as a CMA. So subscribe to my channel for more video content like this. And But next, let's turn our attention to the CSCA. This is offered by the IMA for people who are CMAs, and it stands for Certified in Strategy and Competitive Analysis. So let's learn all about it in this next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you there.